News. Welcome back to the season for getting our crafting on. For those of you crafters out there, myself included, it's still cold out, plenty of snow on the ground, so that gives us time for the indoor crafting, right? Plus spring break, fast approaching, not everyone is going somewhere. Some of us staying in town, looking for something to do while at home with that snow on the ground. So how about some crafts? that also make positive changes in the world. Sounds really good, right? Well, Crafts Create Change is a book by an author from Minnesota showing people how to use their creativity to make a difference. It has over 40 projects with purpose and is fit for people of any age or any skill level. Joining us now is the author behind this, uh, Crafts Create Change, Alicia Sanchez. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yeah, so you're originally from Albert Lee and you kind of go back and forth between Minnesota and Florida, and Florida yep. right now. Mm -hmm. um, but you you created this book last year. Tell me the inspiration behind it. Absolutely. So I am the founder of a nonprofit called Dear God Are We There Yet? It's a volunteer community. We support all nonprofits to get them volunteer so that people can share their time and so a lot of crafters i'm a crafter and i'm like there's a way that you can craft and donate these projects to nonprofits worldwide whether locally or in another country and so all of these projects are for different types of nonprofits different needs right in our community and like i said worldwide and when you say some of the, the proceeds go to a nonprofit, yeah. I mean, in some instances, that might be 5%, 10%. Yeah. A lot of your, yeah. the money from your book goes to the nonprofit. 80% goes right back into our nonprofit, into our impact micro grants, which other people right in the community that have these projects, that have these dreams to make the, the world a better place. And so we wanted to just keep it going, keep it the inspiration going, and right through the crafts itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you're talking about projects yep. with purpose, you brought some examples here. I, that can be a wider range absolutely of so the first one was the hello postcard this is inspired by um, the elderly community and people that you know during COVID and all that we were away from each other and mm -hmm. sometimes we're all connected on our phones but it's taking a little bit of time to write create yes. and say hello um, how are you just kind of like just making a little just card, making here a card. Say, you know yeah thank you get well and so you can donate these um, a lot of people don't know but you cannot give the elderly community and those elderly homes flowers because people are allergic to things ah. but they love cards that say hello they love you to give them you know a joke here and there or a story remember you might never ever see them again but just a simple thank you I love you is just uh, is really great and this is something kids can do I mean anybody of all ages absolutely and it can be, you know really impactful and something that somebody hangs on the refrigerator Ex for a long time and makes them smile because it triggers a memory or exactly something, right? you could put your favorite Bible quote I've seen a lot of communities get their children in involved and say hey let's teach you about social good and this is an introduction about giving back and being selfless okay what about some other examples you have a, for some sewers here there's yeah some so from some sewers I want to start up here because this is a very popular one it's a mastectomy pillow a lot of people don't know but this is an essential tool for someone who's recuperating from a mastectomy mm -hmm. this is a pillow that they put across you can make these with your sewing machine or you can literally make it by hand um, you donate these to hospitals or even cancer centers and it has, this is a critical piece of it, the ribbon, because yep. they kind of hang it over. Yep, they shoulder. hand it over so that they can go ahead because what happens is your daily movements every single day, cooking and all that stuff, and it can hurt you. So pill these pillows are really essential. And then here, a lot of people don't know, but in the foster care communities, you know, children might have their medications or they need Band-Aids or they have certain things like um, their insulin um, so that you can make little pouches of different sizes and then they can keep it in there um, and then they can put their ailments in anything and those you can donate them to uh, DCF your local DCF or again hospitals etc and the book includes ideas for where okay I made a pile of cards where I can donate them absolutely so you can go on our website you can put your zip code okay. and then a whole bunch of nonprofits can be locally exactly and there's also community projects as well so let's say you want to get together with like a local hairstylist and say hey we want to get back to the community let's go to the homeless community and give like free haircuts etc so there's tons of projects and everything's in the book. Wow. Yeah. Really, really oh, endless ideas. Thank you for that. Again, if people are interested in the book, you can go to uh, craftscreatechange.com. Yep. Uh, Alicia, thank you so much. Thank you so 
really much for having these me. These are wonderful ideas. And as somebody, you know, my mother is a breast cancer survivor. Yeah. I know the importance of just the care of somebody making something like that and how useful it is. Absolutely. So, Thank stuff. you so much. And if you want to volunteer, you can go to deargodarewetheryet.com and learn more. Perfect. We'll put all that on our website, too. Appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. All right. I'm a little jealous of you for multiple reasons. I love the pink, but also, as I mentioned, Alex, she's catching a flight back to Florida yeah. this afternoon. How does that sound? She's not there. Yeah. I want really to go to Florida. Right now. Yeah, I need some sunshine and a little <laughs> beach action. I'm over this rain-snow mix. It's just, I'm, I'm ready for the warmth. But we've got it coming in, so prepare yourselves for the inevitable. Here's a live look at what's going on on radar right now.